honest with you, I don't envy any of the African heads of states. They're fighting with both hands, not only tied, but they're tied on, in their backs. At least if their hands were tied in their front, they could hit with their hands. Their hands are tied behind their backs. Let me start with the 14 countries that are former French colonies. Let me just give you a synopsis of the Pact for the Continuation of Colonization. At independence, they had to give up 85% of their bank reserves, turn them over to the French Treasury. Now that has come down to about 60%. And if they wanted some of that money, they had to submit a financial statement. And if approved, you could only access 20% of what you deposited the year before mm. as a loan at commercial interest rate. France would take your deposits of the 14 countries invest them in the French treasury under their name, you don't have to know what the returns are. Your language of instruction is French. Your minerals discovered, yet to be discovered. France has first right of re refusal. Your military, you get, it has to be trained by France. You can acquire all your military equipment from France. Do you think they're going to give you the best? Mm. France you has... You've left out one important one, mm -hmm. assimilation, of cultural course. assimilation. Yes, and then French military is going to be present in your countries mm. and may invade you without notice if they feel their interests are being violated. What are those interests? A president saying, why? We need our money. We cannot continue to turn over our bank reserves. That's a violation. You could be invaded. And they did. Men were killed. They were coups. They were exiled. So now <clears throat> you take a leader who has given up his finances, he has given up his military, he has given up his natural resources. He is left with 15% of his bank reserves. Now you say to him, why can't you feed your people? Let's be real here. Let's be, let's be real. But why is that leader allowing that to happen. He's got the people to support him, no, to revolt against this. He no, he doesn't. Can't. Look at what we have right now in Africa. These people are forever supporting opposition. So even if opposition they are supporting today wins, tomorrow they no longer support them. Whoever is opposition, that's who they support. Serious man is going to support opposition. Serious man is going on to support all these quote-unquote Terrorists. We don't have a single gun manufacturing plant in Africa. Where are the guns? Follow the guns. Mm. If you follow the guns, you know where the, the, man, the money is coming from. You know where, who the real enemy is. If you see, look at a situation, I was listening to uh, President of Bangladesh.